Good evening, everyone. My name is Ankit Kumar. I have uh, more than 10 years of industry experience. Let's start today's session on RPA, Robotic Process Automation. We'll understand what is robotic process automation. So today's agenda is to understand what is RPA and different tools of RPA. And as we know, like we are going through the UI path in this webinar, so we'll understand how the UI path looks like, like where we can develop the code and how to install UI path studio. You know, so we'll do one of the, the hands on project and UI path and I'll show you how UI path will help us automating your business process. Perfect. So now what is RPA? So we'll divide RPA uh, into three different words, right? So we know RPA you know, robotic process automation. So in simple word, whatever manual work that we do in an industry that is software industry, right? So that can be taken care by a robot in the very layman words. This is what it is whatever the work that we do in an IT industry as a manual task so that can be automated using your robotic process automation so can we automate all the work that we do in IT industry as an automation I would say no not all the processes can be automated so we have a set of guidelines for which process to be automated right so you can see from this picture a person is sitting and working on a a system which is manual work and on the right hand side you can see the machine is doing the work all by itself so this is in simple rpa is right so now we divide into the three different words that is robotic process automation so what is robotic so who is the robot right the entity which mimics human action is called robot so entity is referred here as a software right so as we are automating the things in a software industry so your robot is a software so why do we call it as a software because so we are automating the processes that we have in the IT industry. So IT refers to information technology and it is a software industry, right? It is a complete a software industry and we do need a software to carry on our work. Even if you are working in any platform, if you are working as a front end developer, if you are working as a back end developer or application engineer, wherever you work or as a database administrator, what are these? So these are the softwares. Right, so we generally work on software, right? And we require a software to automate these processes that we do in an IT industry. And your robot is a software entity. It's a software entity which mimics human action. Mimics human action, it just copies and executes whatever human does. So that is what mimicking is referred to. It will copy whatever we do as a human thing and it will do by itself. So that is mimicking the human actions so that is called a robot and what is a process in general so process is a sequence of steps right so so um, a process is a sequence of steps so wherever you are working in if you are working in a project right so we generally work in a project when we are into it industry right so everyone every one of us will be assigned to one or the other projects and in project what we do we do some work right so that work is Right, so the work that we do will have a certain steps, right? The sequential steps that we follow on daily basis, right? That we um, follow on daily basis, so which will lead to a meaningful activity. At the end of the day, we'll complete that activity and we'll log off, right? From the morning till the evening, we'll follow a series of steps to accomplish the work that is assigned to us for that particular day. So we might repeat that work. Uh, many times a day or we can do you know if the process is very lengthy so we'll end up doing a one transaction per day right so but the work that we do contains the sequence of steps right which leads to a meaningful activity so that we call it as a process so that one we call it as a process and automating that process so generally before rpa so this complete process was done manually right so now after introduction of RPA, the process which we are talking about, the sequence of steps, automating that without human intervention. Right? So previously it was done by humans. Now we are doing that without humans. If without humans, who is doing that? The very first word we have talked about, right? The robot who has the capability of mimicking human actions. So that robot will do automation for you so that robot will do an automation for you so putting all together 
right putting all together robotic process automation mimicking human actions right so mimicking human actions to perform an activity a meaningful activity without human without humans is called as robotic process automation so in simple word as i said previously right so previously as i said in the very layman words whatever human does manually so that is being performed by a software entity which is so called as robot is called robotic process automation so this is in very layman words right so let's move on so what are the different rpa tools we have in the market so we have uh, many tools in rpa right so these are the things so starting with ui path so ui path is a market leader okay so i'll show you with a proof not just the words so we have a proof in our next slide so ui path is a market leader in rpa followed by automation anywhere right so automation anywhere is a uh, you know toughest competitor for ui path and the vice versa apart from that we have blue prism and these are the well-known tools that we have in the market so automation anywhere ui path and blue prism so apart from those so these are the other tools like work vision uh, work fusion under monday cofax etc so these are the rpa tools that we have in the market and why do we call you know and yeah so this is the next slide the top rpa tool among all the tools that we have looked into our previous slide are these as i said automation anywhere ui path and blue prism right Right. so when we talk about ui path i said it is a market leader right so i'm not just saying that in words so this is what it is so a real proof you can see that uh, uh, on the website okay that is forester wave which gives us the analytics of the tool how it is performing in the market and they says you see the quadrant is divided into different different categories that is leaders so on the top right you can see who are the leaders in rpa right so this is the leaders quadrant right and the strong performers contenders and challengers okay and this particular analysis says under leader quadrant you have ui path automation anywhere blue prism and edge world and when you compare all these things together your ui path is master on that because you don't believe so when you explore more when you learn about ui path you will understand how aggressively your ui path is you know uh, joining hands with machine learning ai to introduce their features in ui path all right so this is about ui path and we have one more slide which says how fastly ui path is growing into the market right so this is how the demand that we have for ui path okay ui path ranks number one fastest growing company in north america so this is on deloitte okay so this is the analysis given by deloitte okay so let's learn about ui path and before to that so ui path is used by these big chains so it is used by nasa to automate their business process along with nasa airbus autodesk dhl hp fujifilm the big market leaders okay are using ui path to automate their business process how to install okay so let me show you how to install okay so we have uh, very few uh, you know easy installable steps okay first of all you have to register okay uh, register with ui path and fill in your details there and uh, it will take you to the page where you can download your ui path and before to that you have some prerequisites to install ui path onto your system right so you should have 8 gb of ram installed on your machine and you have windows 7 or higher versions okay and if at all you want to run ui path apart from english language okay so we do have many languages that can work with ui path so if at all you want to use that uh, apart from english language you have to install dotnet framework language package okay and the web browsers to do an automation the supported browsers are internet explorer google chrome mozilla firefox microsoft edge right so these are the prerequisites that we have before installing ui path okay so how to install let me walk you through you have to go to the official website uh, that is so you can just use cloud dot 
cloud.uipath.com so you have something called cloud.uipath.com you have to go there and you have to sign up okay so as i have already signed up uh, let me just sign out so when you navigate uh, to this cloud.uipath.com so you will end up getting the sign up page right so as i've already signed in so you will get a sign in sign up option where you have to fill in all your required details like your name right and your designation your company name so if you are if at all you are a learner you are not from any company background right you can just give any of the name okay and the very important thing is you have to give your email id so to your email id so information will be sent and then or else you can continue with your google account as well so when you sign in to your account so you will be landed on the home page and in the home page you will see an icon to download uipath so let me just uh, navigate all right so here so here is the page once you sign up right so once you sign up give all your details so you will end up on this page and at the home page so on the left top i'm just hovering on the home page so on the home page you will see something called download uipath studio so when you click on it an executable file will get downloaded so it will be around 300 mb of file so once you download it right so once you download it you just have to double click and start the installation you just have to start the installation and when you just move on with the installation so we don't have any steps any complicated steps to install uipath just you have to you know uh, double click on it and it will install finally you have to activate your account okay so you have to activate your account uh, so you a page will be shown a pop-up page will come where uh, it will ask for a url you, and it will be defaulted to cloud.uipath.com okay just keep as it is do not change it okay whatever it comes on the screen just keep as it is and click continue or activate okay click continue or activate so it will activate your account once the activation is completed okay once the activation is completed and your ui path will show you this particular screen so this is where you will land after activation so how to install so installation you have to go to cloud.uipath.com okay in the official website okay so go to the official website fill in your details okay uh, so you need not to open your email so this process has been changed with the latest community edition you don't need to open your email and all just fill in your details so once you fill in your details you will be landed to the home page okay so let me just go and show you once again so this is the home page so from where you can just click on the download uipath studio and a 300 mb file will get downloaded onto your screen onto your system double click on that and finally you have to activate keep the parameters as it is do not change anything and just click on activate which will activate your account so once it is activated you will fall on this particular page so you will be end up landing on this particular page right so this is your ua path ui user interface so this is the user interface by using which you can automate your business processes so this is completely a window based application ua path studio we call it as a studio a studio is the place where we will generally do the automation so we do have different components in ui path so we are not talking much about those components now but we'll talk about the studio component which is used to automate your business process all right so now i'll go with i'll just go and click on the process i'll show you one small demo on how ua path automation works so and to create a new project i'll just click on this process so when you click on this process it will ask you for some information okay now you are creating a blank process what is the name of the process okay i'll just say um you know ui path webinar i'll just say ui path webinar and this is the location where your projects are being stored so this is this location i have just changed okay i have changed this location 
have changed some parameters so the default location where your uipath projects will be stored is under documents you will have a uipath and this is the place where your projects will be stored so by default it will be documents and uipath and the location that you are seeing here i have just changed it if at all you want to change the location you can just click on this folder option here and change the location okay and you can give the description as a webinar project and just give the description and you can use any of the languages that is vb or c sharp um, there, there will be some scenarios where you have to write a small code snippets okay you have you, can, you have to write a small code snippets in your automation so in which language that has to be written so that is what it is so if you are familiar with vb you can use vb or c sharp you can use any of those languages so i'll just click on create which will open an editor or ide where you can create your own projects all right so here we are so this is the place where you can do the automation so let me walk you through what are all these so your ide your user interface is divided into the home the one you see here the home design and debug home just we have looked into what is the home so this is the home when you click on home it will redirect to the page that we have just seen so then we have something called design and under design you have a ribbon so this is the complete ribbon this is the new is used to create a new workflow save your project export as template so i have see i've shown you one of the template right robotic enterprise framework template so if at all you want to create your own template you can export it as a template if at all you want to run your project you can use this run option here right and uh, if at all you want to copy paste cut you can do it from here manage packages if at all you want to download any packages that are supported by uipath you can do that from here right and we do have different recorders so recorders also can be used in uipath to record your automation you can use this recorders we have multiple recorders here so screen scraping and data scraping is used for uh, ui automation okay and then we have something called publish using this option you can publish your code in the repository so this is the ribbon uh, this is the design ribbon that you have and then we have a debug ribbon these options are used for debugging purpose right you have developed your code and you want to run your code in the debug mode and see what is happening inside your code and you want to analyze in case if you have any errors you want to analyze your code so this debug uh, tab is used for that right so these are the options that you have on the top right the very first option home design and debug and the very important part is the project so on the left you have something called project here so when you click on this project so this is what we have created right uipath webinar so this is the uipath webinar project that we have created and these are the default dependencies that will get downloaded when you create a new project that is excel mail system and ui automation so these are the default dependencies because these applications are widely used in any of the project that is mail excel system and ui path automation sorry ui automations so these are the one which got downloaded and you will have a main dot xaml and always remember the workflow the automation that you create using ui path the extension will be dot xaml we call it as xaml okay dot xaml will be the extension and your execution will start from the main file main dot xaml so this is what this is where you start your execution right so let me double click on it so i've just double clicked on it so this is the space where your automation can go so i am into the main you can just see here so i am inside the main file so this is your main file and you see here drop activity here so what is an activity so activity are the building blocks of your automation so we can use wide ranges of activities that are available in uipath to design your automation okay so when you come down a bit so available so you can see here i'll just uh, collapse these all under available you have app integration when you just uh, expand it you can automate csv you can automate excel you can automate mail right and uh, when i when i just you know expand this system okay you can work with different different applications so if at all you want to work with files and folders you can go here and choose the activity just for your simple understanding you can see like you can create a file using this create a folder using this 
right so this is the activity this is the activity so when i just drag and drop this create folder here so generally what do we do to create a folder we have to give the folder name with the path right so that is what we can give here just give the path of the folder right path of the folder and it will create a folder for you that's how simple it is so activities are the building blocks of your automation you can drag and drop those activities to build your automation right so we have many activities okay so we have many uh, different categories of activities here and you have your UI automation so ui so ui is like browser okay you can uh, do a window automation you can do a browser automation generally what we'll do uh, if at all you want to open a browser what you'll do you will you will open a, a chrome or ie and you will give a url right so that's how it is when you go to the browser you will see something called open browser see here open browser activity just drag and drop that here and it will ask you for the url that has to be open that simple it is right that simple it is so that's how your uh, activities will help you to design your automation and every activity that we drag and drop onto the uh, panel where we generally do the automation right so we will have lot many properties associated with that activity you see here open browser and here on the input you can say browser type so on to which browser you would like to open this particular url that is what it's asking here so by default it will get open in internet explorer so you can change that to any other browsers like i for firefox chrome edge so i'll just click the chrome so i am asking you a path to open the application all the url in chrome it is simple a configuration so we need not to write any code guys drag and drop your activities and do the configuration required configuration here and the url i'll just expand this okay and which url so i'll show you so we'll have a small page like job application form which we will fill using automation okay so this particular form we have name gender email phone number we have to fill in this requirement these these fields and click on that submit button so this is what we'll just achieve okay i'll just copy this entire url and paste it here as a string simple so we are not doing anything we are just dragging and dropping and we are just configuring it as per our needs right perfect so now what is our requirement as i said so this is job application form so this is how we have to fill suppose this is my name okay so i'll just select the gender and i'll just go back so go down and give some email right get that great gmail.com and some phone number right so this is how i have to fill in the information and click on submit so your response is recorded so this is the manual work okay one time i have done it no problem i can do it if it is one time but what if if you have 100 applicants if you have 100 applicant information in these kind of uh, where it is let me just go in in these kind of excel sheets if you have right so here i have uh, suppose four applicants right so these are the four applicants and this information has to go and fill in in that particular job applicant form so these are just four we might have 400 as well so then it is a repetitive task repetitive manual task so then how i can automate how i can read the information from this excel and put that on my web portal and submit my responses is what will quickly go and do that okay so let me go so as the first thing you have to open this particular web application with this url right so this is the web application so that is what i'm gonna open here so this is what it is right so this is what the application is so when i just copy and paste it here on my new browser it should open this particular job application form right so i'm given that so i have configured it to open into the chrome browser so then what i have to do i have to take my input from this excel i have to take this complete information from this excel and then i have to copy that on my web application so let me just do that how to read the data 
from Excel. So you have something called under file, you have workbook, and under workbook, you have something called read range. So read range activity is used to read the data from a particular Excel. I'll just go and browse for that particular file. So we do have few more options also to read the Excel application data. So, but this is the easiest way. Read range. So I'm supplying the file name that is job applicants, which is in this folder 3103 2021. So this is what the folder. I'm just giving the folder path. And when you open this, so I have sheet one, right? So I have sheet one. So that is what it is asking. Which sheet? Is it sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, whatever it is? And read range. Okay. So you just want to read from A1 to A2? No, I would like to read the entire Excel sheet. I don't know what the range is. I would like to read the entire data. So I'll just remove it. If it is blank, it will read your entire Excel sheet. Done. Then the data that is read with this activity will be stored in a special variable called data table. So I'll just give job applicants. So I'm storing my information in my variable, which is of type data table. Done. My data is in this data table. So I have multiple data table and multiple data here, multiple employees or job applicants here so to fetch individual data. So this is the, this variable has the multiple data, right? So these many employees data you have. So then it is called as a collection. If you have more than one data in a variable, it is called as a collection and to retrieve an individual data from a collection type variable, we have something called loops. That is, we have to use for each loop to take individual data. And as we are using a data table as an output variable, so we have something called for each row in the data table. I'll just use this loop and I'll give my data table name that I have created applicant data or what? Oh, let me just go here and check the variables. Okay, job applicants. I'll just go here and give that variable name. Perfect. So this is the job applicant. From the job applicant variable, get each and every row. Once the row is retrieved, okay, that is Ankit mail, Ankit at the red gmail dot com. This number, if this entire row is fetched by your UI path, what you would like to do? I would like to enter that data here, right? So enter entering means typing something to it, right? So this is the text field and I would like to type something onto it So to type something onto your UI you have an activity called Type into TYPE just type search with TYPE So then you'll have a type into activity So just drag and drop this type into activity and Indicate an element on the screen where you would like to type just click on this and go to your target and just click on it go to your target and click on it all right so this is how it is right i'll just uh, refresh it one more time what you have to do you have to drag and drop i'll just let me delete this you have to drag and drop type into activity indicate the element inside the browser go to the target and your target will be highlighted like this in a rectangular shape with some colors just click on that target right so now your target is captured what you would like to write there you would like to write the data that you have retrieved from this file right so now your information is being retrieved from this variable in the current row so this is the current row so current row the first row will have this entire data okay this current row Object will have all this data, but what you need from that? So I just need so I'll just say current row of What I need name, right? So this is the name column, right? So from this entire row current row I just need name and I'll just convert that to two string Done. I'm writing my name there Perfect. So then after what I have to do I have to do a gender I have to select the gender right so I have, depending on my input, I have to select whether gender is male or female. So this is the decision making. So this is where the decision making capabilities come. So I'll use. So decision means we have to use if condition. So what I'll do, I'll just go and type there the if. So this is the if statement. Drag and drop. 
and i'll say the current row if the current row gender right if the gender dot equals if it is equal to male for an example right if it is male then what i'll do i have to click on this male radio button or else i have to click on this female radio button as simple as that so what i am doing here if the current gender value which is coming for this entire row if it is male so what i'll do i have to click right so then i'll use the click operation click activity just drag and drop the click activity and again indicate element on the screen go there and indicate male radio button so if it is a male then it is or else that is show else in the else again i'll drag and drop the click activity so this time i'll indicate on female simple that is done right so then what else i have i have email and phone number so where i have to type in again so what i'll do immediately i'll go and uh, use the type into activity so this is the type into activity so i need to type into activities right so i'll indicate on the screen first is the email perfect here is where i have to write the email so then again the phone number so this is my phone number so what i have to write here so current row current row of what we have there email e m a i l so this header header should be matching to what we have in the excel so to string so then finally i have something called phone number so i'll say current row of phone number let me copy that from here dot to string and finally i have to click on the submit button right i have to click on the submit button again it is a click activity is what i'll use I'll just use this click activity and indicate on the screen so which screen this screen just click on submit perfect so once you submit it okay so what i'll do i'll manually submit one that is ankit again so new gmail.com and give some mobile number here and i'll submit on it so once the response is submitted right so again you have to click on this submit another response to enter the another email uh, another information of the applicant so what i'll do i have to click on this submit another response again so again i'll go to the ui path click on it right so i'll just go and again indicate element on the screen so this is what it is perfect right perfect so my automation is done so let us go and execute it so let me close this application uh, okay and let me close this browser as well so i'm just closing this job applicants so i have nothing open so what our automation has to do it has to open that job application form and read the data from the excel and it has to enter the data on this job application form so how to run it as i said so from this ribbon you have debug file and under this you have something called a run file just run this all right see a browser has opened with that url and it is writing ankit mail gmail number click on submit boom and the response next to ritika female gmail address mobile number submit boom and next aryan mail mail id phone number submit done another response aro mail gmail id mobile number submit done we had four employees four applicants and four applicants data has been entered by your ui path reading from the excel to your applicant form on the website so thank you thank you everyone have a great day bye bye